Call us on your cell phone. Call me Mary Hotline Bling. Haribazi Vezere. Harazarantang. Welcome to it. 083 913 Give us a call. It's the culinary hotline bling. Ting, ting, ting. All right. Let's get into your questions. I, I was very intrigued as to why you brought us a uh, dipotata. Uh, to find out why. So this comes uh, off of a question from Zin Arm, who called in and said, how do I prevent sweet potatoes from changing colour when cooking? Mm. Do they even change colour? They do. They this do. variety that is um, indigenous to here, I know my grandfather used to grow this, Yeah. Um, is white-fleshed. So let me just... See on oh, the inside. Oh, I thought it's you were white. about to break it in half. I was <laughs> no, like, yo, no, I'm yo, not yo, yo, that yo, yo, yo. sure. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, so it's white on the inside, so it does oxidize just like a potato would. Yes. Um, so the best thing to do is as soon as you peel it, pop, pop it into water. Okay. You can use acidulated water, but it's not ne necessary. Mm -hmm. Um and then also when you it, they are gonna go slightly brown okay. as soon as you take them out, especially if you're gonna roast them. But if you're gonna boil them in a pot, then they're gonna be stay like sort of underwater, so they should be fine. Yes. Um, so with this potato, it is gonna be go a little bit browner. Mm -hmm. um, there is an orange variety that we now have available to us, so mm -hmm. you could use that if you. But then that looks more like butternut than, uh, yes, yes, than yes, a sweet yes. potato. So, um, yeah, so the best thing is to keep it underwater as soon as you peeled it or yeah. um, in a water with lemon juice. Yeah. Just like potatoes, though, can you, when you buy, let's say, a big batch of sweet potatoes, peel them, chop them up, put them in a plastic bag, freeze them until you use them? You, you can, um, but those will discol discolor slightly. Okay, yeah. okay, yeah. all right. Because I just wanted to know, what, you know when, when you go for Christmas and then you buy the big bag because mm. it's now 20 rand and no longer, you know what I'm saying? But they'll keep in a dark place. Potatoes will keep... For a long time. I did that. Know? I did that like two weeks ago and they yeah. started growing trees. Growing trees. Okay, so sweet potatoes are... A, so starchy potatoes, regular potatoes, you always keep in a dark place. You can actually buy a potato bag. Yeah. Like it's a bag. It's so cute. I have one oh. on my vegetable rack. Aww. It's like oh, it's like a house for potatoes. Oh, it's really hey, cute. Little potatoes. Sweet potatoes, however, you can store in the fridge. So other potatoes don't store in the fridge because it turns the starch into sugar and then it makes them more funny. These ones have so much sugar in them, so it's good. You want them they to be They preserve sweeter. themselves. Exactly, so keep <gasps> these in the fridge. Cling, 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 cling. <laughs> All right, man, the things we find out in the culinary hotline. Glenda said, how do I make cheese straws, specifically uh, how long they need to bake for? Okay, so depending on the size of your cheese straw, I'm going to offer you a cheese straw. Thank you. Um, cheese straws are basically just puff pastry and your choice of cheese sprinkled on top, then twisted and baked. Depending on the thickness that you're going to make them, that's how long they take to bake. So something this size will bake... Um, for about 20 minutes. So the key is to make sure that it's crisp when you break it, mm -hmm. and that's how you know. Um, so it, it basically depends on the size, and I can't let and I can't tell you an exact time for yours because yeah. I don't know how thick you cut them. Right, right. Yeah. Right. So if you cut them a centimeter thick and you twist them, mm -hmm. they should take about 20 minutes. Fantastic. Yeah. It's like almost like a cheese rusk. It is. It's delicious. I wonder if it works. Oh, that's strange. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. well, that could work. You know, on the odd morning. The morning after the night before, Do you want to it could totally work. Hand? No, I don't. What's wrong with you? Oh, anyway, we will continue with the culinary hotline bling. Sing, <laughs> sing, <laughs> sing very shortly. Uh, give us a call on 0839133728. Uh, Zoe, I've got to ask you very earnestly. Hashtag, who is Zola's secret bae? 